and girls, we're going to read you a story, and the name of the story is called The Chalk Doll by Charlotte Pomeranz, pictured by Francie Lassa. Okay, boys and girls, let's begin the story. Rose had a cold. The doctor said to stay in bed and try to take a nap during the day. Rose's mother kissed her and drew the curtains. You forgot to kiss me said Rose. I did kiss you, said Mother. You didn't kiss me. Good night. Mother went over and kissed her. Good night, Rosie, she said. I need my bear, said Rose. Your bear, said Mother. You have a slump with your bear, says you are little. I, st I am still little, said Rose. She hugged her bear. Mommy, she said, did you have a bear when you were a little girl in Jamaica? No, Ma Mother said, but I had a rag doll. I took a piece of material and folded it over once. With a pencil, I drew an outline of the doll on the material. Then I cut along the outline and sewed the two sides together. Before I finished sewing up the head, I stuffed the doll with bits of rags. Did you like your rag doll, Mommy? Yes, Rose, because I made it. But I liked the, I liked the dolls in the shop windows more. We called them chalk dolls. Did you ever have a chalk doll, Mommy? Yes, my aunt worked for a family who gave her a chalk doll, and my aunt gave it to me. The doll was missing, was missing an arm, and her nose was broken. Poor doll, said Rose. Oh, no, said Mother. To me, she was the most perfect doll in the world. That's because she belonged to you, said Rose. Mother smiled. Now try and rest, she said. I'm bring. I'll bring you a glass of milk. Mother brought the milk. Then Rose drank half, then looked up. Do you like milk when you were a little girl? I love milk, said Mother. But the milk was different. It came in a can, and it was sweeter and thicker. Every morning, my mother took out two teaspoons and dropped them into tea. We all got a taste. After breakfast, Mother would cover the can full and hide it. Where did she hide it, Mommy? M mother shrugged. I never found out, she said, but I watched her every morning, and I dreamed that one day when I grew up, I was going to buy a whole can and drink it all. Did you, said Rose? Mother was quiet. No, she said finally. I never thought about it till just now. Tell me another story, said Rose. I can't think of any, said Mother. Tell me the story of your birthday party. Mother looked puzzled. My birthday party? We didn't have birthday parties. Where, what about the three pennies, said Rose. Oh, said Mother, that time. On the day I was seven years old, my mother gave me three pennies. I had never had so much money. The pennies were cool and smooth in my hand. I went to a store and bought a little round piece of sponge cake for a penny. Then I went to another store and bought a penny's worth of powdered sugar. In the third store, I bought six tiny candies for a penny. When I got home, I sprinkled powdered sugar on the top. I bet I know what happened then, said Rose. Five friends came over. You cut the cake into six little pieces, and you had a party. But Mommy, you didn't get any presents. No, I never did. Never, never? Well, said Mother, I did, if you count the pink taffia dress. My mother was a seamstress. She worked at home, sewing for other people. One year she bought home some pink taffia. Pink taffia was my favorite. She said she would try and make a dress for my birthday, but she was so busy sewing dresses for other people that weeks and weeks went by and she still hadn't touched the pink taffia. The night before my birthday, I went to bed hoping she would make the dress while I was asleep, but when I woke up, the pink taffia material was still there. I went to the yard and cried. Rose leaned over and hugged her mother. Poor mommy, she said. Did she ever make the dress? Yes, said mother. She finished the dress a month after my birthday.
day. It was the most beautiful dress I ever had. What kind of shoes did you wear with it, Mommy? No shoes, Rose. We only wore shoes to church on Sunday. You mean you went to school barefoot? Yes, said Mother. Nobody wore shoes except the teacher. But I did wear high heels. Okay, boys and girls, that's all we're going to read. And if you want to find out what happened next, go to your public library and read The Chalk Doll, written by Charlotte Ponderez and Picture by France Massaw. Okay, that's all. Let's see what's coming up next on the Mr. Peavy Show. Okay, boys and girls, we're back at Mr. Shanks' farm, and we're here. Mr. Shanks, what are those in the in the fence? Well, these are <clears throat> ducks and chickens, and two kinds of chickens. <clears throat> we have black ones and brown ones. And Mr. Peavy, they're female chickens, so oh, do you know what that, that means? What does that mean, Mr. Shanks? That means I'll get some eggs. I'll oh! Fresh, fresh eggs, eggs. every day. Fantastic. Now, why are some of the chickens black? What kind of chickens are the black chickens? They're called black star chickens. Where, where are they from? <clears throat> They're originally from India. Fantastic. I uh, know. And they're supposed to lay lots of eggs and be very, uh, very, very healthy and happy. What color eggs would they lay? <clears throat> they will lay brown eggs. Now, what's the difference? How can you brown and white eggs? What kind of chickens lay white eggs? Well, there's many varieties. One called the white leghorn. Okay. And uh, my dad used to have a variety called Betsy Babcocks. Oh, and, that's uh, a neat name, Betsy <laughs> Babcock. I, I like know. that. And uh, they were really good egg layers. And they like cucumbers also. Yeah. What else do you feed them? Uh, well, they have, you can see a feeder back here that has the same crushed up corn and wheat. And, <coughs> excuse me, and grains like that. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Peavy, mm -hmm. uh, see this big uh, Tupperware bowl here with water in it? Yes. You know what that is? What is That's that? That's their bathtub again. They take <coughs> baths. Yeah. That's fantastic. The ducks, the ducks love to get in the in the uh, bathtub and just sit there like it's a jacuzzi. Now, do they have web feet chicken? The chickens, chickens don't, but the ducks do. Okay, so the chickens don't swim like ducks. <laughs> that's right. That's okay, right. do they fly? Yes, they do. Okay, and then boys that's and why I have why that's why I have chicken wire on top of their cage here so they can't fly away. I just put this uh, today, yesterday, I checked on them and some of the little black chickens had flown out of the coop. Oh, flown the coop! Yes. That's what the term flown the coop means. Yes, that's right. Now they will fly as, as far away as birds, will they? <clears throat> No, no, they usually stick around wherever they're getting fed and uh, water. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, where do you get your chickens from? Well, all of them, the, the geese and the turkeys and the chickens and the ducks, <clears throat> they all came, and believe it or not, a little box like this, uh, they came to the Huber Heights post office. Post office? Did you yes. get chickens from the post office? And they were only, only, this was about three weeks ago, and they were only a day or two old. Oh. They were freshly hatched. Well, they grow fast, so how long, are they adults now? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, they're only three weeks. I'd okay. say another couple of months, and then they'll be uh, nice and big. Now, how long do you, do you think chickens live? Uh, chickens live <clears throat> uh, maybe uh, six, seven years, something oh, like that. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a bumblebee flying around. Oh. What, what do, do, well, tell me about bumblebees. I'm interested in bumblebees. You are? This one well, bumble buzzing around me. Bumblebees are, <clears throat> uh, like other bees, they uh, <clears throat> go to flowers and collect the pollen. And if, oh. you look, if you look closely, sometimes on a bumblebee on its legs, you can see a lot of yellow pollen sticking to its legs. Oh. That's how it takes it back to the hive. Oh. And, and uh, bumblebees also make a type of honey, but it's not quite as edible as the uh, honeybees. Okay, well, Mr. Shanks, I love seeing your farm, your flowers, your fish, your turkeys, your chickens. Sounds like I'm singing a song. <laughs> this has been a fantastic day. And boys and girls, uh, uh, thank you for coming to the uh, watch the Mr. Peavy show and Mr. Shanks. Thank you for inviting us.
to your farm. My pleasure, Mr. Thank Peavy. You. you and the, the kids come back anytime we you want. We will. Maybe you can come back when uh, everything grows up and take a look at it then. Exactly. During the fall time when you harvest all your, your, your yeah. things. Come and back stuff. for the peaches. Come back for the oh, peaches. Oh, we will come back for the peaches. So thank you. Okay, thank bye you. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Bye-bye. I'm Snicky the Singing Snake. Good morning, boys and girls. I am reporting for the Mr. P.V. Show. Today we're going to the flower show at the Montgomery County Fair. Hello, boys. This is Snicky at the Montgomery County Flower Show. Boy, boys and girls, look at all the flowers. Right now, they're judging the flowers. They're trying to decide who gets the blue ribbon and who gets the red and yellow ribbons. Oh, there's a blue ribbon. Yeah, and there's, there's another blue ribbon. Boy. Look at all the beautiful flowers. And besides flowers, they have a lot of house plants. And you boys and girls know that it's good to have plants in your house. That way you get lots of oxygen, and oxygen helps your brain work. And you can think better, and you're just so much more healthy. Now, if you don't want to water your plants very much, then maybe you need some cactus or some succulents. These are all the different cacti they have at the flower show. Boy, look at that one. Okay. Well, we're going to go down and see if we can get a closer look at the flower show. We'll be right back. Bye-bye. Hello, boys and girls. This is Bob the Clown. Welcome to my art room. I have two very special guests, and I'm so glad they came today. I have Whisper. Say hello to the boys and girls, Whisper. Hi. Yeah, and I also have Mark. Say hello to the boys and girls, Mark. Hi. Oh, man, they're going to be my helpers for today. If you want to be a helper on, on Mr. PV show, just write me on the address that appears on the screen. Okay. So Whisper and Mark, they're really good. What school do you go to, Whisper? Elementary Park. Yeah, what grade are you in? First. First grade. Oh, Mark, do you go to school? What school, what grade are you in? Kindergarten. You're kindergarten, a big kindergarten. What school do you go to? Madison Park. Fantastic. We've got some old people over here. We're gonna, they're ready for retirement. Okay, now we're going to make something, Whisper and Mark. 
that you actually can take home. You can take this home. We're going to make a pencil holder. And you have lots of pencils at home, don't you? You have lots of pencils at home, Mark? Good. I do too. But sometimes your pencils are lying around. You don't know what to do with them because you can't find them. But if you had a pencil holder, you can put your pencils away and you'll know where they come to get them the next time. Now, what I've got is a tin can. An ordinary tin can when you go to the grocery store, your mom buy green beans, pork and beans, which I like. And this happened to be pork and beans can. And I want your mommy, when your mommy cut the lid off of your can, make sure your mommy checks it, and mommy and daddy or whoever's taking care of you, check and make sure there's no sharp uh, uh, edges around here. Make sure they check that before you start doing this. Now, now that we have our tin can and it's clean, because I rinsed this out, Make sure it's dry so it won't be drippy and uh, get all messy. We're going to start covering our tin can. Now, what I want Mark and Whisper to do, they're going to help me to do this, okay? I'm First of all, I'm going to get some glue, okay? We're going to put some glue on a piece of paper, and we'll use a craft stick. And you guys don't have to even get your hands uh, uh, dirty on this because it's just, you can stick... Uh, the stuff on right directly onto the can. Now this is packing foam that my son gets a lot of packages from all over the country because he he's building his computer or something. And I thought this was really neat. This looks like a peanut, doesn't it? it look like a peanut to you? Look like a peanut to you, Mark? Yes, it looks like a peanut. So what we're gonna do? What Whisper and Mark's gonna do? They're going to. And I'm gonna give them both. And I'm gonna move. You know what, Mark? I want you to move over here in the center. You'll be the center guy. Stand right here. Oh, he's great. And I'm gonna give both of you some glue. And we're going to glue these packing. Hold on just a second, Whisper. I want you to get grab, grab, I'll give your brother one of these, yeah, one of these peanuts. They look like peanuts. They look, you know, they look shaped like peanuts. So I thought they were really good. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do the flat side of this. We're gonna dip it. You see, Mark, we're gonna dip it into the glue and we're gonna stick it on the can like so. Now we probably be very careful because sometimes it may slide, but don't worry about that. We can slide. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to get a get up. Uh, pick this up. I want you to dip it into the glue, the flat side of it, and I want you to stick it on the can. And I want you to stick it, just pull it out. It gets a little sticky. Stick it close together. There you go. You may gonna go work on that side, and you work on this side. Let me give you some over here. And we're gonna watch Whisper and Mark glue this all around. And I want you to make sure you try to cover all the edges. We don't want it, that to show because we don't want to advertise. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to advertise, and I'll help too. We're going to dip this, boys and girls, into packing. Packing material is really neat. Sometimes it comes in colors. And make sure you put them close together, close as possible, all the way around. We're going to make a pencil holder. And I'm going to watch them uh, uh, glue that all around. Make sure it's got a lot of glue. Let me see. Ooh, good. It's lots of glue. Press that up there. OK, all around. And Whisper, you can probably start at the bottom, start putting some at the bottom too. Okay, we got lots of more sp uh, places to, to glue. Mark, okay, and then glue, then you start gluing underneath there too. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna prepare the, um, we should have got some, there you go, we got this paper. Okay, we're gonna put that underneath. Okay, you guys are doing a good job. Mark and Whisper are doing an excellent job. And their friends at school can watch them on the Mr. Peavy Show. They're, they're stars. They're going to probably ask you for your autograph now when you go to school. Because you're a celebrity now. You're on TV. Make sure you put them close together so you can cover up that old ugly uh, label on the beads. Okay. There you go. Put it close together. There you go. There you go. You may get a little closer, Whisper. There you go. Okay. Keep doing that. And Bob Bob the Clowns off the camera right now, but they're doing such a super job, Whisper and Mark. And we're going to, she's preparing for some, okay, doing a good job. They're gluing that. Now, boys and girls at home, what you're going to have to do, this is going to probably take a little bit, uh, a while to dry, but we're going to kind of speed this up because we don't have that much time to demonstrate um, how what to do. So we're going to get some, Boy, let's watch Whisper and Mark put those. Oh, they're doing a super job of putting those on there. Super job. And they're gonna take this, that home too. They're gonna be their pencil holder. Okay, so they're doing a super job. I wanna zero uh, in their camera, one of the camera. 
and see how well they're doing. Look at that. That's going to be super. That's going to be super. You need to to put one on right there, and we're almost finished. If you need some more glue, let me know. Good job. Boy, I've got heifers now. I, Bob, Bob, a clown can go on vacation. I can go on vacation now, boys and girls, because we got such great heifers over here. Super. Super. Good job. Oh, one more spot there, and I can get a spot. Oh, you can probably put another one in there. In between there. Good job. We need music. Oh, music. Oh, music. Music. Someone didn't tune my guitar. You tune, did you tune my guitar whisper? Did you tune my guitar? Did you, Mark? Nah, that's why it's out of tune. Next time we got to tune the guitar, it's out of tune. Okay, we need to press that here. Okay, press that there. Good job. And we're going to put, yeah, put that there. Good job. Boy, they're fast. They're fast than Bob Bob the Clown. It probably take me a long time to do that. Good job. Good job. We're going to, yes. And then, boys and girls, what's going to happen when this dry? Uh, and we're, we're going to probably do this uh, uh, next time on the show. We're going to paint this. I'm going to have uh, Whisper. We're going to have to set this aside. Whisper and Mark. I think that's it, Mark. That's it. And this is how it looks, boys and girls. This is how this is going to look. And I think it's going to be really cute. And what we're going to do after this dries, because you, you don't want to touch this yet, because it hasn't dried yet. It probably, I, I say about next, uh, probably 15 minutes, it probably dry enough for them to, um, to work on. So we're going to set this aside over here and whisper and mark. I'm going to ask you some questions why, while that's drying. we got about, what, two more minutes? What is your favorite uh, 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 toy? What's your favorite toy? The Barbies. Barbie dolls. You, how many Barbie dolls do you have at home? You have a lot of bar Barbie dolls? Uh, five. You've got five Barbie dolls. What's your favorite toy, Mike? Mark? Mm -hmm. See, Bob, Bob, a clown. Ah, <clears throat> Mark. What's your favorite toy? My brother's light ear. You what? My brother's light ear. Really? Oh, fantastic. Okay, what's your favorite food? What would you uh, like to eat? And chicken. You, and your mother's in the audience, too, so she can uh, uh, cook that tonight. What's your favorite food, Mark? Pizza. Pizza. So she, you're going to have pizza and chicken uh, tonight, Mom. Okay, she's saying, yeah, she's going to have pizza and chicken. So you can have your pizza, you can have your chickens. So, okay. Now, you know what? We have, you know what? This is such a great, I just may have them next week. Come on next week on Bob Bob the Clown Show because they're doing such a good job. Fantastic. I know they're good. You get straight A's in schools, don't you? Yeah, you get straight A's. You get straight A's because I know oh. you're so good. Oh. We get B's. You get B's. Well, those are good, too. B's are just as good as A's. Great. So what's your favorite subject in school? Um. You like reading? You like art? Art. Art. What do you like, Mark? Mm -hmm. what, what's your favorite uh, uh, subject in school? Uh, what do you like to do? Mm. Uh, read, draw, what? What's your favorite thing you like to do in school? Uh, music. Music. Oh, we got a musician. I think you need to play this. Come on, play this for us, Mark. I think you can play sound better than I can. Yes, fantastic. Okay, boys and girls, this is all we have for today for Bob Arbor Clown, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody, bye. 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 bye.